Meet Bill. Bill just got a new fridge delivered. It's all unpacked. But first things first, let's move it a little closer to where it'll live. Everyone's kitchen is different, but if your fridge is going to live in an enclosure or between countertops, it's always a good idea to double-check the measurements. This means height, width, and depth. And be sure your depth measurements include space for the doors to open. Also, sometimes the floor isn't level, especially near the walls. You can always fix this by having some shims handy for the back legs of the fridge. Okay, time to move this baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bill, not so fast. Love your enthusiasm, but when you move your fridge, it's super important to use caution. And grab a friend to help you out. Samsung fridges have wheels, but it's always a good idea to protect your floor. Cardboard or furniture pads underneath each leg of the refrigerator work great. Even leftover linoleum works. Tilt the fridge slightly away from you, just high enough to slide the floor protector underneath. And now you're ready to move this thing. When moving the fridge, don't wiggle it from side to side. Pull or push it straight forward or backward. Remember, it has wheels. Don't slide the fridge into its final spot quite yet. We still have a few other things to take care of. Leveling, water lines, mm, fun stuff. Okay, to recap, when moving your new fridge, be sure to double check your measurements first, including space for your doors to open. Check the floor level and grab some shims if you need them. Use caution when you move. Be sure to protect yourself and grab a friend to help you out. Protect the floor with cardboard or linoleum. And only move your fridge forward and backwards. And that's it! Already celebrating, guys? Think it's a little soon? Hey! Hey! Psst! Psst! We got work to do!